Hey, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Lovo. And this is just a voiceover AI, and I'm just gonna show you a demonstration of how it looks like and the workflow. And so here, I'm in my account already, and so I just went to Workspace, and if I click on it, this is just gonna show up. This is just a random voiceover that has just been selected, and this is just the part where you can fill in your sentences. So you can obviously do it manually and just put in your sentences as you like, but for this demonstration, I'm gonna use a different source. Okay, so I'm at BibleGateway.com, and I'm just gonna use the Book of Ruth from the Bible. The reason why I'm gonna use this is, let's say you're making a blog post, and you have all these little notes like this right here, you know, these little footnotes and numbers that you wanna get rid of. I thought this would be a good example. So first I'm going to do is just copy and paste this. This is just a public domain. So it's a world English standard Bible. And so I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to copy and paste it and just move it over. Okay. So I'm back at Lovo.com or Lovo.ai and I'm just going to copy and paste it. And literally I just copied the paragraph from here and just put it here. And this is what it looks like. And so I did not space them out. It just automatically spaced it out for me. Uh, I'm going to see what happens if I backspace it. And as you can see, I cannot go back up there because it'll automatically space it. And so this is what it looks like to copy and paste it. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is just select a voiceover. I think I'm going to keep this one, the Gary uh, Inskeep. Um, I like his voice is soothing and dark. Let's hear it out and I'll just show you what it sounds like. As you have dealt with the dead and with me, I may Yahweh grant you that you may find rest, each of you in the house of a husband. All right, guys, so that was just a demonstration of what it sounds like uh, once I converted it. One of the things I didn't like about this product is it does take a little bit while to convert the whole thing. So you do have to wait after you press convert. So from here on out, I'm just gonna convert only like some of the sentences here. So just to give you an example. All right, so obviously from that recording, we can see that there was a lot of user error, right? So the numbers right here. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna actually delete this. This. And as you can see, it's going to change the color. It just shows that I edited it, this part. So I'm just going to go ahead, delete the numbers here and just correct all of this. Okay. So this is what it looks like when I deleted all the numbers, as you can see, it turned black and the purple text means I did not edit it. All right. So uh, there's other corrections that should be made here. Uh, the other one that I noticed was that I did not delete these little brackets here. So I'm going to delete them. And I think that's about it. Unless there's another one. Oh, there's a number down there. So as you can see, there's a lot of user error. And if you wonder why it sounds kind of strange, uh, it just might be on our end. Uh, the other part that I noticed that um, I wish there was a little bit of a pause. So on the left side here, you can see pause at the end of your sentence. I can actually up this part right here and press confirm. You don't have to do it. It sounds okay. Like nobody's going to notice it right away, but I do like a little bit of pause of, at the end of each sentence. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this 1.50. And for me, I have found that that is just enough. All right, so I just edited all the timing at the end. So it's just gonna wait just a little bit more, uh, 1.50 seconds. Uh, the other one I wanna do is increase or decrease the speed of the sentence. So I think it's okay overall, but I can slow it down for a little bit. So I'm gonna try that out. So I'm gonna click on it and just decrease it by just 0.10. And I think that's just enough. Let me just decrease that. I have played around with this a little bit. Basically, if you speed it up, it's going to sound like a chipmunk. And if you slow it down, it's just going to go really slow. So I went down to probably like 0 0.80, 0 0.85. 0.90 and that sounds pretty okay I would say. Alright so I edited the end of the sentence. I also edited the speed of the sentence. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna make sure to write a title for this too. So I'm gonna write Book of Ruth chapter 1 and again make sure this is the right voice skin that I'm using. I like Gary so I'm gonna select all to convert and I'm gonna press convert. Alright it's done converting and let's see what it sounds like. May Yahweh grant you that you may find rest each of you in the house of the husband. All right, so that sounded pretty good. And I did think it was just a tad slow, I would say. And so uh, I'm gonna probably speed it up, but I'm gonna do that later. But that's just a demonstration of what this is like on making a product in Lovo. I, I also want to show you on the right side too. So on the right side, if you see voice skin and upload text and share, there's a download right here. So you can actually download this if you want and just put in your computer or for your files. The other thing you want to do is just make sure to save this. So I'm going to save this right here. 
And yeah, as you can see, it's loading and just make sure to save it. Okay, so it's saved now. So I'm going to go to library and you can see that the book of Ruth chapter one is there and I can just click on this and it'll just go straight to the product I just made. All right. Okay. So another thing I want to note here is the amount of space you can use of characters. So it looks like from my account is 15,000. Let's pretend that I went over this. So you want to just make sure, let's say this chapter one is just so long and maybe I even included chapter two in here um, and I went over. So what you want to do is just space it out accordingly. So for example, you can space that out in chapters. You can space that out in uh, uh, paragraphs. Uh, what I'm just trying to say is what you can do is do chapter one for this file right here. And for the next one, let's say you want to do a brand new design. You can do chapter two and save that. And that way you can have like different chapters or sections in your library. Hope that makes sense. All that to say, just make sure that you space out everything accordingly for your for your workspace because you only have 15,000 uh, characters that you can use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out Lovo.ai. I will put a link in the description if you're interested in this product. If you just want an AI voiceover, this is a great product to use. 